As we move into this time of scripture and prayer, I want to invite you to truly hear the story as it's shared in the Gospel of John. And as we pray together, words on the screen after each scripture, I want to invite you that it might just not just be words on a screen, but to invite you to allow those words to truly become your prayer for the world. So let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for God, who has promised, is faithful. This is the Gospel of John, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often met him there with the disciples. So Judas came to the garden, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas, the traitor, was standing there with them. And when Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. And again he asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they said. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. If you are looking for me, then let these men go. Lord, we pray that we, we might, might not, not betray, betray Jesus, Jesus, but have, have God's, God's law in our hearts and written on our minds. We, we pray, pray for, for those, those who have been, been betrayed, betrayed by, by their, their friends. friends. These are the words in John chapter 18, verses 12 through 24. Then the detachment of soldiers with its commander and the Jewish officials arrested Jesus. They bound him and they brought him first to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jewish leaders that it would be good if one man died for the people. Simon Peter and another disciple who were following Jesus, because this disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the high priest's courtyard. But Peter had to wait outside at the door. The other disciple, who was known to the high priest, came back, spoke to the servant girl on duty there, and brought Peter in. You aren't one of the man's disciples too, are you? She asked Peter. He replied, I am not. It was cold, and the servants and officials stood around the fire they had made to keep warm. Peter also was standing with them, warming himself. Meanwhile, the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. I have only spoken openly to the world, Jesus replied. I always taught in synagogues or at the temple where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why question me? Ask those who heard me. Surely they know what I said. When Jesus said this, one of the officials nearby slapped him in the face. Is this the way you answer the high priest? He demanded. If I said something wrong, Jesus replied, testify as to what it is wrong. But if I spoke the truth, why did you strike me? Then Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Lord, we pray. For the leaders of the religions of the world, 
that truth, truth, justice, and mercy may prevail for all who stand all trial. Who stand trial. John 18, verses 25 through 27. Meanwhile, Simon Peter was still standing there, warming himself. So they asked him, You aren't one of his disciples too, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. One of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, challenged him. Didn't I see you? Didn't I see you with him in the garden? Again, Peter denied it. And at that moment, a rooster began to crow. Lord, we pray that, that we, we might, might follow Jesus more closely, closely standing strong in our faith, and, and that, that we, we might, might be better friends, encouraging each other to love and good deeds. Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Is that your own idea? Jesus asked. Or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew? Pilate replied. Your own people and chief priests handed you over to me. What is it that you have done? Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is of another place. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? Retorted Pilate. With this, he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for charge against him. Lord, we pray for the, for the governments, governments of, of the, the world, world that, that truth, justice, justice and, and mercy may prevail for leaders and in governments, governments that they might seek truth. John 18, 39 and 40. But it is your custom for me to release to you one prisoner at the time of the Passover. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? And the people shouted back, No, not him. Give us Barabbas. Now Barabbas had taken part in an uprising. Lord, we pray. For all, all under threat, threat of, of punishment, punishment that, we that we might provoke one another to love and good deeds rather than encouraging the worst in each other. Esther, chapter 7, verses 8 and 9. And the king returned from the palace garden to the place where they were drinking wine as Haman was falling on the couch where Esther was. And the king said, Will you even assault the queen in my presence, in my own house? As the word left the mouth of the king, they covered Haman's face. Then Harbona, one of the eunuchs in attendance to the king, said, Moreover, the gallows that Haman has prepared for Mordecai, whose word saved the king, is standing at Haman's house. 50 cubits high. John 19, 17 through 22. And so the soldiers took charge of Jesus, carrying his own cross. He went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. And there they crucified him. And with him two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had a notice prepared and fastened to the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this sign, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and the sign was written in Aramaic, in Latin, 
and in grief. The chief priests of the Jews protested to Pilate, do not write the king of the Jews, but that this man claimed to be the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. die this day, for those who die of hunger, for those who die of illness, for those who die from the violence of others, for those who die in wars, for those who die at the hand of their government, for those who die forgotten or homeless, for those who die by their own hand because there seems no way to live. For those who die when there seems to be no reason, and for all those who grieve, O oh God, give peace. Esther 7, verse 10. And the king said, Hang him on that! So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. And then the wrath of the king abated. John 19, 25 through 30. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Later, knowing that everything now had been finished, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, and Jesus said, I am thirsty. And a jar of wine vinegar was there. So they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. that they, they may, may find, find loving and safe places, places of care. care. 
for all places and persons who have the work of caring, that they may be filled with love, caring, gentleness, and mercy. For us, that we might share the resources we have of time, talents, and riches. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Trump. 